Welcome back. Time now just about 1121 on a Tuesday evening. Meteorologist Thomas Patrick joining us here in the studio this time. Thomas, we've had a wonderful stretch of just fantastic fall weather. That all kind of comes to an end tomorrow morning though, right? Yeah, and the fall colors are a bit past peak too, uh, right. if I do say so myself. I mean, it's been beautiful the last several days. Yeah, completely agreed. I went mountain biking at Mount Spokane on Sunday and we wore t-shirts up there. It's, Ooh, it's wild. My nice, goodness. very good. Yeah, that's what uh, mid 60s in October. We'll do that for you. Yeah, we'll take it. Awesome weather the last several days and mark Thursday as another day that's going to be like that all the other days around including tomorrow and certainly for this weekend going to feel a lot different because of the rainfall on the way several storm systems all of them containing at least some moderate rain. Some will be heavier than others. The first arrives tomorrow morning. In fact, already Western Oregon and portions of Western Washington already getting this first storm system that's just rotating into the Western US. And what's happening is that this is the first of a atmospheric river setup. What's happening is that there's this low level jet stream that's pretty much just pumping in moisture from the tropics near Hawaii. So plenty of moisture to work with. Most of these systems, that atmospheric river is going to be mainly aimed towards California, but the entire West Coast is going to use that available moisture. So some areas, even in Oregon and Washington and British Columbia, will still see some quite heavy rain at times. Let's take it to Future Tracker now. This is 9 o'clock in the morning with that light but steady rainfall for at least a couple hours during the morning hours, arriving from the southwest, moving towards the northeast. A bit more scattered shower activity for the early afternoon hours. So basically expect a wet morning and then that rain will thin out later on in the day. Thursday, a dry day, as I mentioned. Friday, that second weather system moves through another day with that probably moderate rainfall. Could be heavy at times as we watch that storm system, but it's the third one that looks like it's the strongest of the bunch overall. Much larger system. Again, same available moisture to work with. Most widespread rain for Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, kind of within that three-day time, sta time span. So it's going to probably give us the most rainfall and also the heaviest rainfall. Look at how much rain is forecasted across the West Coast. For us, it's about one or two inches of rain across the inland Northwest. For the western coasts of California, Oregon, and Washington, it could be between three to five inches of rain, at least two inches on the conservative side, like for the Seattle area. That rainfall is going to be super beneficial for the area because most of the western U.S. is still suffering from this exceptional drought. A quarter of the state of Washington, it's almost half of the state of California. So when we get all this rainfall, which tends to be very common with these atmospheric rivers, we get very beneficial rainfall and I think our flooding concerns should be pretty minor for us. We'll keep an eye on that, but all in all, a very wet end to the month of October. This is the time of year we'd like to see the mountains or high country start to get that snow up there, right, Thomas? Yeah, and I think our snow levels will be between about five to 6,000 feet, so the high mountains will definitely be getting that snowpack. All right, thank you very much.